students should be standing on the white line so that they are far enough away from the tumble track to be safe. Students should not be wild and out of control because this is dangerous. The first thing students should learn is how to bend their knees and freeze. Have students walk one at a time into the circles. Start with stretch jumps. Bend your knees and freeze. Next thing is have them work on jumping forward. Press on students' arms to activate the correct muscle groups. Next, have students practice backwards, always pushing down to have them activate their core. Next, have gymnasts do forward rolls. You can have advanced kids do peanut rolls, jumping from their back to their feet, back feet back feet, back feet. Count students off one at a time into the circles. Have students stretch their arms up, hands down, and punch to handstand. Start with power hurdles, circle, circle, stretch jump. Start in the first circle, swing, jump, stretch jump. Arms up, swing, jump forward, jump up. Arms up, swing, jump forward, jump up. You can set up several stations working down the tramp. More advanced students can do the higher version. Press down on their arms to activate their core. Swing, jump into the circle, and stretch jump onto a block. Students start practicing punch handstands on a higher surface. Hands on block, punch to handstand. Make sure your feet stay together. Notice other athletes are standing on the white line, ready for their turn. Next step is combining the power hurdle with the punch handstand. Have students swing forward and punch to handstand. Next, push down on students. Combine the power hurdle punch handstand with a snap down rebound onto the block. Power hurdle, punch handstand, snap down, rebound onto the block. Have students sit far away from the tramp so they are nowhere near the safety zones. Sitting near the safety zones can be dangerous because springs come out of the tramp while students are on it and students can get legs stuck in the tramp. <laughs> students can get legs stuck in the tramp. <laughs> That doesn't feel good. Coaches should stand in the middle of both tramps near the pit area. Have students walk onto the tramp and stand on the red X in the middle. The first thing you should have students do is practicing jumps, counting, and then bending their knees and freezing. Then make sure students walk off and sit far enough away that they are nowhere near the safety zones. Have students walk on and practice tuck jumps. Pulling knees up above a 90 degree angle. Bend your knees and freeze.
Next, have students practice straddle jumps. Next, have students stand on the line and work on forward rolls. They can turn around and roll back, so they practice going both directions. You can have advanced students work on peanut rolls. Have them stand in a straddle, grab the back of their knees, and tuck their head in, making sure they leave plenty of space for their face. They will jump to their back and onto their feet. Turn around and try again. Normally, students are only allowed one at a time on the tramp, unless a coach gives special instructions. Here is an example of that special instruction. Have first student walk and stand on the line. Have the second student walk and stand on the furthest line away. Then you can have students practice punch handstands. Notice they always start in a stretch body. More advanced students can work on punch to handstand, snap down rebound. Place hand, punch to handstand, and snap down trying to land on the mat. Students can also practice rolls for front flips. Start in a stretch body, place hands, roll, and freeze in your sit position. One, two, three, stand. For pit exercises, have students spread out across the blue safety area. Only have four students go at a time. Have the students pick up a piece of foam. You're going to work on a backward safety fall. Always spot the students first. They must hug the foam, tucking their head in. Lean back, pike, so that their bottom hits first. Bottom to back is the safest way to land in the pit. Do not have children let go of the block. successfully, they may then try by themselves. Count them off and remind them to cross their arms and tuck their head in, sitting back. Have remaining students scoot down, and then students in the pit crawl and line up at the end of the line. Pit crawls are great exercise and help students learn to get out of the pit faster, which will be a necessity later. Next, have students walk out one at a time and pick up a piece of foam. Help students decide which way they like to twist by turning their shoulders each direction and letting them choose. Then lean student forward and twist onto back. students scoot forward and then students in the pit will crawl across and go to the end of the line. They also start students on pit rolls for front flips. Have them get a piece of foam to protect their face. Make sure that you have them tuck their head and push their lower body over so that they safely roll over. You may also 
have students perform games such as pit races. This is great exercise and endurance training.